Because a lot this is people's issue. This is the fear that stops people. So they go, well, Tom, what if they ask me a question that I don't know the answer to? Who's had that fear? I had that fear at the start. Everyone has that fear. And, um, well, I'm going to show you something that's easy to answer that objection every single time. So you don't have to. That doesn't need to be your crutch or excuse. Okay? Um, and you can make a lot more money and solve a lot more problems. Everyone I know, all the millionaires I know, they're all good at marketing and they all know how to turn them leads into deals. They know how to monetize. And especially in this business, we need to be able to get on the phone and speak to the sellers and close the deals, right? And it's exactly the same with the partner. If you're bi you've got a business partner you're working with as well, you've got to make sure they're committed and they are hungry. They enjoy the phone. Is that yourself, Gavin? We were talking about you sort of you and you love the phone, don't you? Maybe why why do you enjoy the phone so much, mate? What sort of gets uh, you in the groove of it? No, really, I, I love the phone when I've shown it. Obviously, it's mm. the first time I've talked to people, so I don't mind the phone. But when we were coaching at the start, I almost got the selling side straight away. But it was learning it and like mm. I said to you, my fear was more I need to know the product. You know, it's like sales and anything. If you know the product, you can sell it, you can sell. Mm. Yeah, and, that, and, that, and that's interesting. Product knowledge, you need, that's imperative. You need the product knowledge, and you need, how, you need to know how to package it up in a simple way so the seller understands it. Kirsty? I think as well, you know, going back to you know, mindset, you know, we've all been sort of brought up that sales is dirty work. Yeah. You know, that sales are, you know, if you think about the salesperson, what comes mm. Yeah, and we have like a guilt about it. We subconsciously, we feel, oh, I don't want to sell them, especially this elderly, old lady that needs to sell. But remember, you're in the business of solving problems. I always give the analogy to prep this, what we're going to, some training we're going to go into. You're a doctor. What happens when you go to a doctor? One, they're in authority. Two, they've got, you. so when you go into a doctor's, you know they're in authority already, and you've got a problem the need solving. You've got symptoms that they're going to prescribe a solution to. That's exactly the same. Motivated sellers, buyers can't find deals. Sellers can't sell their house. Land, they have no equity. That's a problem that needs solving. You mark it and you solve that problem. And there's an art and finesse to it. I, I, it's not, you can jump on, you can't just jump on the phone. You need to be alignment in what you're doing here, right? And I, yeah. Is there another, one more point you made there, Kirsty? Or, sorry, my mind was, my brain was there. Uh, Going off on a tangent. So how do you get started? How do you get into it if you're brand new? Well, there's four keys to success with it. One is just actual, actually talk to sellers, right? Start talking to sellers, guys. A lot of people, I need to get the click funnels right. I need to get the podio right. Or I need the system in place. The system works when you talk to sellers.